Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I will be solving the problem on the start menu Windows 11. So if your start menu is not opening up and you use the cursor, you try to click on the windows, the start menu, it is not working, it's not popping up. What should you do? All right. So in this video, I try to solve the problem. Let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to do is to go ahead and press the Windows and R. So there's a Windows key right here and R. So press that together. Windows, R. And you're going to see that little pop-up right here that says Run. Under Open, I want you to type PowerShell. One word. So it's going to be P-O-W-E-R. PowerShell. S H E. L L okay and then you click OK so what happened is that it's gonna open up like a command prompt and this command prompt here is kind of blue in color dark blue and try to right click that icon which is the PowerShell icon if you can right click for my reason my start menu is not working at all therefore my right click doesn't work okay my right click works on the window part here, I can right click that. Okay, I can right click, but when I right right click it on the PowerShell here, it is not working. We need to have the PowerShell to run as an administrator rights. Without the administrator rights, we cannot finish up the repair. So I'm gonna close this. We're gonna jump right into option, the second way of doing it. Again, it's going to be uh, Windows R. Under Power Shelf, this here under the Run, we want to click on Browse. Okay, click Browse, and what we want to do is click on this PC, right? So you click Browse, you click this PC, it'll bring you to your C drive. Double click C drive, double click Windows. You want to scroll down until you see System 32. Here you can see that it says System32, double click System32, scroll down until you see Windows PowerShell. It's an alphabetical order, so it's all the way down. Here you can see it says Windows PowerShell. Windows PowerShell, double click that, you're going to see V. 1.0 double click that and here you can see PowerShell application which is the blue icon right click on the PowerShell Windows icon and then run it as administrator and click yes it's the same window that pops up but this is has the administrator rights to it okay so we are good so far now the next step is to copy and paste this code right here. This code right here allows the computer to go out to the internet, grab whatever needs to be repaired, and then fix it. So the internet needs to be connected. Um, I'm 90% sure it goes out to the internet and grab the data. Um, let's maybe 10% it doesn't need to I'm not too sure but let's just connect myself to the internet so instead of running to the Wi-Fi I'm just going to hardwire this computer here because it's a laptop therefore okay I just want to make sure that okay now I have internet copy that code right here and again I'll link this code down in the description below and then back to the PowerShell you can right click and paste it since my right click doesn't work so what I'm going to do is control V control V for Victor so press control and then V why is it not working control C Control V. Okay, there you go. So Control V, I just paste the code right there. 
once the code is paste press enter you're going to see a bunch of this uh, deployment operation process which is normal the computer is doing its thing um, don't be afraid of that so it's just processing initialize uh, 35 activities not shown 38 39 so let the computer do its thing okay don't have to worry it might look quite scary thinking that somebody is hacking the computer or whatnot um, but this line of code is just to fix what it needs to be fixed It's still running. How do I know if this is done? It's a very good question. I don't even know does it actually show that when it's done. So I'll just be patient and wait. Um hoping that you know that little script right there stop running. I I think hopefully there's a pop-up that shows it's done. Um Yeah. It might take 5 to 10 minutes for this run, so um, I'll keep it rolling, I'll keep the camera rolling, and um, we'll see how far this is stops. Alright, I guess this is a stop screen. Okay, so you notice that, that blue line right there disappeared, and then you get this Windows System 32 flashing. Uh, that helps you, it, it kind of shows it's, it's, it's stop running, so whatever it is, it is stopped running so great I'm gonna close this so exit out from this okay exit out from this I do not want to save that close the screen close this let's do a control alt delete on the keyboard so I'll be pressing control alt delete at the same time I'm gonna bring me to this screen here we have the uh, sign out task manager at the bottom right corner you can see this little power button click the power button and click restart so i just need to restart the computer after running the powershell okay i'm gonna cover up the uh here I have a name that I do not want to show. Okay, I'm gonna enter the password to get in. All right, I'm back in. So let's keep the finger crossed, hope, hoping that the start menu is gonna work come down here there you go so the start menu is working as you can see that there's a pop-up screen right there um, everything is back to normal so hopefully this video is helpful to you and again if you do find this video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for doing that um, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and again check the link down description below this is where I'm gonna put that little code that you need to copy and paste it in your PowerShell. Okay, one last thing is that, hey, if you really want to support my work and to show appreciation, uh, please click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude. 
uh, support my work and support my channel and I really appreciate you for giving any donation. Thanks for watching and again I wish you that you can fix your Windows 11 start menu button here and until next time, bye now.